Hello everybody, it's me Jace and I'm back with a tutorial for a really nice bracelet created by a really close friend of mine, my long term partner in crime here on YouTube and Instagram a very good designer, the beautiful Sianitan, and this is called Grey Gardens okay, I actually named the bracelet okay, this was called Grey Gardens because the first time that she posted it, it they, she used an all grey um, monochromatic scheme and I thought it was beautiful okay so this is the version that I made and this is a hook only design and you will create the center first and then we will do the borders as you can see here I used four colors you can use how many however colors you want but for this tutorial I will make it three and try to copy what Siani Tan did so for the center where you see the sun kiss I will be using my Egyptian gray Okay, the center and then the mother of pearl these sides I will be using my sweets black okay and then for the border where you see my sparkle maroon and my caramel chocolate I'll be using a single color which is sweets gray okay I'll use only one because that's what she posted originally so let's go so this is gray gardens by Siani underscore tan okay super talented friend of mine oh and by the way please do pay attention because this is actually quite advanced and a bit complicated <laughs> okay so here we go the first thing that you need to do is to create that single chain in the middle that you see okay and to start off we will teach you how to begin it but that is not yet the pattern just so you know okay so to begin you will begin with your um so, well single chain side colors these mother of pearls so i will start with my black sweets so you create a cap band okay and then from the cap band you will get the two colors that will be here you have your mother of pearl and your sun kiss and for me it's going to be the black and the egyptian gray whatever color you want inside okay the middle chain the sun kiss should be on the outer part so I'm making it my Egyptian gray so I will place it outside okay gray and then black because the black will be the ones by the side of the single chain right here so we will call this the single chain we'll call this the side colors and then we will call these the borders okay so here's my center and here's my side so you slide the cap band on those two colors just like that Okay, and you will get your black sweets again, which is your side color. You place it on your hook, and you unloop these two on it. Okay, and then you close it. So you're supposed to have something like that. Okay. Now, you will get only one of these, and put it back like that. Okay, only the inside color and then once you've done that you will unloop the second one which is this so you unloop it okay so please pay attention this can be a bit complicated okay and then you close After you close, you will get another black sweets, another side color to complete this whole thing. So you have that. And then you close. Okay. And once you close that, you will unloop the second one again. So you just put it over. Just like that. There. And you're ready to begin your pattern. <laughs> that is the start. So if ever that you got a little bit confused, Please rewind because that's just the beginning and now we will start with step one so before you start step one you have to turn this around first and start on the other side okay you will always start where you will see the bands that are lower than the others you will know if you're on the right side when that happens and you will see you actually have four bands underneath okay one has the looped band here and the other one just has the two straight bands here they are lower than the ones here so this is always where you start okay step one okay let me see hold on step one is you will add one center color followed by two side colors 
okay so that's what it looks like okay so the first thing that you will need to do is to remove this this is step one one is you will reclaim these two here so you will reclaim those two just like that okay you will now add your center color again so remember that after your first step the first band that you will be adding is your center color which is this second one here so you get your Egyptian gray put it on your hook and hold this down and then unloop these two okay once you've done that your next step is to add another band on here so you added a band on this one first the ones on the left then now you add a band right here so you will get your next sweets black so you'll only add this one once it will always be the sweets black and then there you go you will unloop these two again and then you close so you're supposed to have something that looks like that it's just like when we started remember okay you will again reclaim this first one reclaim that and then you will unloop the one in the middle ta-ta okay and then you close it then you will add your second black sweets so you add your black sweets and unloop these two and then you close it okay close it and then you unloop the middle band so basically what you want to do is to always just have two bands all the time on your hook see let's repeat it one more time so turn it around and go back to step one step one you remove and reclaim these two remove and then reclaim those two step two you will add your inner color your middle chain hold this down and unloop these two. Oh my good i have such bad codes okay there and then you will reclaim this first one just like that okay oops wait i did something oh no wait nah not yet <laughs> excuse me i know i was doing something wrong so sorry that's not the next step before you reclaim this you will add another band here sorry see even i am still getting confused so you band, uh, you band, you add another band there, then you close it there. Once you've done that, you will now reclaim this first one, and then you unloop, and then you close. <coughs> and the last step is you will add one more black sweets here. Close. And then you fold out. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is dry. There. Okay. We will repeat it one more time. So you turn it around. Okay. And step one is you reclaim these two. First ones. First two on your left. And then you will add your center color after reclaiming. Add the center and loop just like that. And after you unloop, you will add one more band here, which is your side colors. Unloop, close, and now you're ready to reclaim this first center color. Okay, and then you will unloop the middle, and then you close. And lastly, you will add your last black sweets. Unloop, close, and fold. Ta-ta!
I know, I know, it's challenging at first, but when you get used to it, it's gonna be super nice. Okay, so that's the one. So one more time, because I know it's so confusing. <laughs> so there. <coughs> Step one is your reclaim goes to. Just reclaim. Okay. Then you add your Egyptian. You loop. And then you add one more for this side, which is the black. And then you close. And then you reclaim this one closest to the hook. Unloop. And close. And you add one last sweets black. You unloop. You close. And fold. Ta-da! See how easy that is? It's easy once you get the hang of it. You'll actually get used to it, don't worry. <laughs> okay, one last time, just to be sure. So you turn this around. You pick up the two, the first two. Add your center band. Okay. And then add one side band to this. And then you pick up the one closest to the hook. And loop the middle. Close again. And then add another side band. <coughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay? So basically that's it. All you need to do is you just keep repeating and repeating it all the way up. And then make sure to add maybe around four extra because when you put the border, it will actually become shorter. So you don't want it to be too short for your arm. Um, so you add maybe about four to five more links before you actually close the top. And when you're done, you just have to put the C-clip C -clip here. Okay? And then you can do the border. So I will finish the length of this and then I will come back and we will shoot, shall do the border together. Okay? See you in a while. Hey guys, I'm back. So I finished all the way to the end. And what I did is I finished with well, the folding of that other side. And then from here, I will C clip this one. So you just get your C clip and place those two bands on there. And you've got that at the end. Okay, so basically that's how it looks. The single chain in the middle looks very nice. See? Okay, so what I did, my wrist, I have an extra, I think about four to four, four. Yeah, that's one, two, three, four links. Um, I count it from here, two, three, four, yeah, because it will grow shorter later when we put the border, okay? So, now we will go to the border, and it's very easy. All you need to do is to get your border color, and you will always put two bands at once. Not at once, but I mean in succession, rather. So, what you need to do is to get the first of those cap bands, you have two there, right? So, you go inside the cap band. Ta da! Okay, then get your first border and loop that through. Okay, then get the second one and loop those two again. And then you fold. Tring. Okay, and then you will see all of these side bands sticking out. That is where you will loop. So for here, you will go into this first one. Okay, loop one band only on this first, only on the first, like that. Okay, then you will get a second border band and loop all three, like that, and then you fold again. See, it's twisting, just untwisting it. Oops. So twisted, sorry. I'm OC. Getting OC. Hold on. 
Why are you so twisted? <coughs> I'll get twisted over you. There you go. Okay, so, and then you fold that. Ta da! Then you go into the next link. Loop one border band again on the first band. Just like that. Close it. And then you will get your second border band and loop all three again. And then you fold it again. And then you go into the next link. So it's very easy, right? So you loop one on the first band, close it, then you get your second one, loop all three, and then fold. Ta-da! And then you go into the next link. You get one gray, and loop one, close, get your second gray, and loop all three, and then fold. And then you go into the next link. See? So that's how it looks there. Very nice. Okay? So I'm going to go all the way up. And then I'll go back and show you how to close it. Oops. Close it. <laughs> Again. Close it. Okay, so we are at the end. And this is the last link. And what we will do is we will do the same. Loop one. Loop this over. And then you get your second gray. And loop the three, close it, and then loop over, and then simply place this on the C clip, just like this. Ta-da! There, see? So you basically got it already. Now you go to the other side, and you will get the other side of that cat band. Go there. And loop this first one, get a second one, fold, close, and then fold. Okay, and then you go to the next link. Get a single band, and loop the first one, close, get a second one, close, and then fold. And then you go to the next one, get a single band, loop, close. Get another one and loop the three, close, and then fold. And then we go to the next one, so it's really very easy. Loop, close, second one, and loop the three, close, and then fold. Okay, so you just have to keep going all the way up. So I'll finish this and I'll see you when we close. Bye! Bye! Hey there, I am back and this is the end. And so this is the last link. So we go in and then you put your last one in a single band. And then you get the second one. <coughs> I am so sick right now. <laughs> I have a cold and cough. Okay, so see, this is the last one. And all you have to do is to simply loop it also to that um, sleep clip. Well, actually, what you can do if you want, you can add one more band, for example, like here. And then just loop it up like that. Or, you can just do this one band and then just loop it right there. So, you remove this one, okay? And then you use this style, which you unloop this on the black. And then you just close it and then you hook it again. See? There you go. That's the ending of the bracelet. And so, you have your completed Grey Gardens bracelet. I think it's very pretty. It's very beautiful. I like it. It's very loose and not so tight. But at the same time, there's a certain elegance to the design, which I love so much. Okay? So there you have it. That is your 
Grey Gardens bracelet. Okay, that's oh by the way, this was named by me. Wee! I named it. <laughs> okay, so this is the Grey Gardens bracelet by the very talented Siani underscore Tan. And when you make the bracelet, please don't forget to hashtag Chase Alvarez Grey Gardens bracelet and Siani underscore Tan because we'd love to see your renditions. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.